Okay, for today's Factorio stuff, we are standing around in a copper smelting node on my 248k run on a ribbon world with a city grid that's too small, thinking about putting molten metal in silos, which is a thing that I quite like whenever I've got like molten metal fluids and casting and things like that in mods. Uh, maybe maybe in a train station, maybe the other thing I was considering was like having a silo down kind of between the furnaces and the casting elements. And we ended up not doing that at all and just making casting next to next to the furnaces, belts on a plate, inserters, chests, trains, splitters, very normal kind of station stuff. So so let's talk about why we didn't do any of the the, the I was gonna say do any of the fun interesting things. There's a lot of other fun interesting stuff in this mod, but we're not putting fluids on trains. So let's first of all talk about why I like putting fluids on trains um, before we talk about why we didn't in the 248k mod. And the the first element of this is kind of aesthetic. I just like the idea of a train hurtling around my rail network carrying molten copper at like a thousand degrees Celsius. That just sounds like like a disaster waiting to happen. That's obviously what's like the thing. The thing I like to do is just make make things that are bad ideas. Um, also, yeah, fl factorio fluid mechanics. This this thing is going to hold its temperature forever. The, the 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 copper in these silos is just like the yeah the temperature is a statistic of the fluid. It's just it's just, just we don't have to worry about it losing that heat. It's just always going to be this terrifying disaster of a train hurtling around our rail network. So that's cool. The second thing, um, and the more practical thing, is like an a yeah air quotes normal item belt inserter based station needs a lot of a lot of each of those things a bunch of splitters a bunch of inserters chests stack inserters you do a lot of work to make sure that the various places that wagons go get an even balance of whatever you're putting into the station and then a bunch of other work to make sure that there are stack inserters to transfer all the items onto this is actually real well timed i had no idea it will be that well timed um yeah transfer the items onto the wagon as quickly as possible and so that so that your train evenly fills and then unloads evenly you could a similar thing, kind of thing on the other side with with mixes and stuff like that as well and with a fluid station you don't have to do that at all like we just saw this previously you just like smash down a bunch of tanks if the tanks can be next to each other that's great for fluid balancing purposes um, you need to line up the pumps with the wagons and you can you can only have three pumps per fluid wagon they'll they'll each attach to like one of these one of these balls on the fluid wagon um, if we turn that off yeah the fluid wagons have like three yeah three sort of pump sockets i guess there's probably a name for them um whatever so you're gonna only get three but you mostly want to be t pumping from tank directly to wagon anyway and these things are still pretty fast i mean more on that later, but in terms of filling a 25k wagon, these these things are pretty fast. You don't need to worry so much about balancing them because they will they will like the fluid network will take care of that itself. I mean, I kind of bodged this one together, and this this casting machine is right next to the silo tank with the fluid connection. So so these things are not quite balancing because this casting element is is using some of that. But whatever. And then for an unloading an unloading station I uh, would go in this grid I guess kind of here and we'd flip these and train station over here which I don't know if bots have at the moment um, and this would yeah this would just this would just unload and we wouldn't have to worry about like buffer chests and making sure that each wagon can sort of access both sides of some belt and then all the mixing I just, oh, that one's that one's failed isn't it that one's a fail um that, that's fine um yeah we wouldn't have to worry about balance balancing and all that kind of stuff we just put a pump here and we've got you know fluid at volume so that's fine and then in the like the between casters and furnaces example um i wouldn't have to worry about like prioritization splitters and inserters and chests and how quickly the buffer could empty and whether it could buffer to one um, empty to one side or the other. I would just I would just like attach a, a tank to a fluid network and would handle all of that. Um, so that's that's nice as well. And then in the yeah specifically in the two four eight k case, there's a couple of recipes where you get like a bonus pure copper. And then this is even more of a thing in things like C block where I also like fluid wagons and because because you can because you get casting metals is you can do yeah let's do it set up a thing like this where we've got a 
pairs of tanks in kind of a block, and this means that because we've got two tanks, like I think yeah, I think each of these tanks is an odd number of things longer. So these are these are not in the right place. Um, let's actually see if we can do that. Yeah, so these, yeah, these tanks are seven, like, squares wide. So you can't do this with one tank, because then the the rail won't line up with where the pump is trying to put things onto a fluid wagon. Um, you just do it with two tanks. Um, so this is this is going to always be, if you, you have two tanks here, the pumps are two tiles long. This is always going to be an even number of tiles, which means you'll always be able to hit rail. Which means we can throw together, you know, we could do if we were doing this, and the thing that's going to go like there, I guess this one doesn't want to exist, um, that will mean that this wagon, yeah, this train here, can receive maybe, if if yeah, if you have a waste product in the form of fluids, this, this train station can receive things from many different sources, and then this train station can take things from, yeah, two different many different sources, and if it's something like copper where you want a lot of this stuff, and then sometimes you've got processes that give you a little bit extra, um, this, this can be, this kind of thing can be a nice way to, yeah, just kind of have a depot rail station to, to nicely move these things around. I, when I was getting ready to set this stuff up, it also occurred to me that if I had, yeah, let's take this one away and put one here will work? Yeah. Because the thing that struck me about having another train station here is, yeah, then if I, you could have both of these and then use the shorter train station to only have two fluid wagons so that waste processes that we're getting rid of, like extra surplus copper in, this, in, the, in the waste sense, um, can always hit this train station and like disgorge their molten copper into this depot. But then this main train station with four wagons we could wire to the tank so that there was so that this train station would only be active if there if there was like less than a certain amount in the tank um, and then the trains could go to the small train station with like quotes waste product trains and to the big train station with like higher higher vol volume like quotes main production trains i guess and then like the main production would stop if these tanks filled up too much but the waste products would always continue to run and then all of these you would just have some other like depot where any any node any part of your base needing that material could collect it and all of this is yeah this this kind of thing is a whole lot easier to do with just like here's a bunch of tanks than it would be to do an item based thing like this kind of twice, wants to take things off a train and wants to put things back on a train, unless you've got a mod to like gather chests or things like that. So why didn't we do that? Why why have we not done any of that? Why why are there no tanks here? Why is this not going to appear in the run and we've just kind of edited mode it in? Um yeah, so yeah, why did we go back to just belts and items and stuff like that? Well if we look at this recipe, it's a hundred molten copper per copper plate. So, so that means that these wagons with 25,000 copper in them are... Oh, yeah, I don't need these things either. I'll get them out of the way. Um, they, they kind of have the same transit value as 250 copper plates in a wagon, which is not, not a great use of my rail network. Um, yeah, C, C block, I think, does 10... Yeah, it does... 10 metal molten metal per plate so so c block ends up with you know a decent value and i think you can also get different sized trains and stuff like that um and that ratio is more or less the same for all plates yes is it copper same for iron the steel is kind of different because it rolls in the iron to steel ratio um the other plates you get from fancy yeah from rich water the fancy plates are all still 100 molten iron 100 molten metal per plate and um, so so a fluid wagon while exciting and fun just isn't it's not not a particularly high value train your trains are going to be running more often and um, they're going to get like each each train delivery is going to get less done um, the second related point to that which is basically the same point and and is the point about why like a liquid buffer down here didn't work is that 
you're also looking at quite absurd rates of fluid throughput. Like if, if we've got 100, 100 molten metal per plate, a yellow belt with 15 items is what, 1,500 fluid per second. Like that's already, that's already a significant fluid throughput. And this thing here of four belts is what, 6,000? And four yellow belts is not a huge amount of stuff. If we were going to say four red belts or, or eight red belts, 12 or 24,000 fluid per second is is like that's that's into nu nuclear power plant steam and water fluid transfer of having to have different pumps for everything having to have a bunch of parallel routes that's like no longer at simpler than the whole splitters and stackers thing stacking sort of things that, that was the whole point of why we were going to this like allegedly simpler fluid thing anyway um so so yeah so that's why that's the thing the things i like about fluid fluid trains um reasons why fluid trains didn't quite work here um so yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna be doing anything quite as irresponsible as having molten metal just flying around our rail network um but i'm pretty sure that we'll be able to figure out other ways to be irresponsible instead it'll it'll be fine